Welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today we are talking about basal anchors. Thanks for joining us. Come check it out. All right, first and most simple basal anchor we've got here is just your run of the mill, running bowling with a backup and an alpine butterfly set so you can attach a uh, low ring line right here. So we've got my base linker, we've already shot a rope up and over a union. We pulled our climb line through. We've got a running bowline, which by itself is not a valid knot to climb on, but I've got it backed up over here with a fisherman's knot. And the reason I'm backing up this way instead of using Yosemite tie off or Yosemite finish is because of this. If I cinch this down and I pull on uh, the tail of the bowline, as I cinch it down around the tree, I can, I can capture the slack and now if I'm if this rope is tensioned and slacked and tensioned and slacked and tensioned and slacked the big disadvantage of the bowline is that it would tend to wiggle loose or wiggle free and then the rope itself can slide up and down the trunk this is not going to do that because of this fisherman stopper knot it's actually capturing and, and holding the rope in place around the trunk so it doesn't go anywhere no hardware necessary this is plenty secure away you go climb up this side and off to the races. Let me show you another great option for a basal anchor. Basal anchor number two. I want to show you this one over here. And while we're showing this, I want to talk about a couple of the advantages of basal anchors. One of the key advantages besides being fast to set up and easy to retrieve is that it's potentially lowerable by a groundy if you set it up right. Now there's a lot to this. This is a major safety, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of safety points, so I don't wanna go into it too, too specifically or in too much detail, that'll be a later video. But one of the things, one of the advantages of this particular basal anchor is that it's easier to get free while it's loaded on the other side. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. But the basic, is, the basic concept is this. You take, your, you take your rope and you run it through a ring, you pass it around the tree, and now I've tied a figure eight, a figure eight loop here on the end, just like any old climbing knot right there. And you take the bite, the loop end of the figure eight, push it through the, the ring as well, and lock it off with a carabiner. Now the carabiner is gonna jam, it can't go through that loop. I can cinch this off, and as that snugs down, that's gonna tend to stay put. It's not gonna jam up on me. There's no knots that are gonna give me trouble. That one maybe. Um, and then you put an alpine butterfly above for that rescue line for being able to attach a secondary rescue line. Now, this is a fairly simple with a little bit extra hardware. It's not quite as nice and easy as the last one I just showed you, but let me demonstrate the key advantage here. Okay, so one of the advantages of this anchor, like I was saying, is actually how easy it is to undo while they're loaded with weight. So I've set up some big old heavy bags here. We're gonna jam it up real good, like you've got a heavy climber. And now we're gonna pretend that this is a body that we're gonna try and lower out of the tree here. And here we go. It's very simple. I'm gonna take my secondary line that's nice and long, make sure it's got plenty of length to get up and over. I'm gonna take a full wrap on the tree so I've got lots of friction. Tie a quick knot here. Is the bowline good enough? No, of course it's not. But we're just doing a demo here, so I'm gonna leave it. Now, one of the things I gotta make sure is that when this releases, um, well, let's, let's just see. So I can actually wiggle this carabiner out of that loop while it's loaded with weight. And now look, I've got all that weight on this pink line ready to be lowered. And now I can let it down in control. Just like that. That whole routine is a lot more difficult on this other uh, basal anchor that I showed you. It's not quite as easy as the last one I'm gonna show you, but for simplicity's sake, very little hardware, very simple setup, I like it. It's a good way to go. 
So for this anchor, you need to have three times the height for it to be totally effective because you need one leg to go up, one leg to come down, and enough slack below you that you could lower the climber down by himself. So if you're uh, up in, you know, a, whatever, a 60 foot tree, three times that, uh, you need a pretty big rope. But the nice thing is that you can, it's very easy to train a groundy to safely retrieve yourself. So I'm gonna demonstrate this using a Tazlov. Tazlov 2, it's just a climbing device. But you can do it with a, a Petzl rig, you can do it with your uh, regular hitch climber set up with the rope wrench. You can do it with an akimbo if you want to. You want to really throw some money at it. But this is how, basically how it works. You feed your rope through the device. Make sure it's going the right way. And so if I'm going to be pulling on it, tension it. Oops, I got that in there backwards. Really important you get that the right way. Clip it on your choked off anchor point. Now, so follow me over here. We load this thing up, a bunch of tension. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my weight bags back on here. Get a little bit of, a little bit of extra weight so I can do demonstration all right so now if we got to lower our climber I don't have to do anything all I got all I got to do to lower the climber safely is pull this little handle and away they go and as long as I've got enough slack and a nice stopper knot at the end my groundies can safely lower me out of the tree. <clears throat> There's a little bit of a risk with this in that a branch coming down could, he could hit that. And that's kind of a little bit risky. Um, the Petzl rig in that case is gonna be a little bit safer. Some of these other methods might be a little bit safer. For example, just as easily as I could set this up, I could also set up my climb system. Okay, so just like that Tazlev 2 or the Petzl rig, um, this is the same kind of idea. This is a single rope system, whole system down here. I got another one with the climber. And once again, the ground, you can lower the weight really easily just by releasing that knot. Boom. That's it. That's a rescue. Super straightforward. As long as you got the slack and the stop or not, it should be safe. In conclusion, those are my three favorite basal anchors, a few different categories. There's a whole lot more to it. Um, be sure to check out my other videos if you want to compare the baseline anchors with the canopy anchors or if you're not really sure when you should use which one i've got a great video for that you can check that one out as well thanks for joining me at strider tree gear hopefully we'll see you again soon be sure to like comment subscribe hit that little notification bell and we got more content coming appreciate it